But it was obvious that Microsoft needed a reboot. Morale had hit a low. We were all massively frustrated that we kept missing big trends. And in some ways, it felt like real innovation was impossible. And the infighting and fiefdoms were so famous, people made fun of it. Which would have been funny if it hadn't been so true. And I think the biggest tension comes down to this. Do we solve this the best we can right now or work forever for the best solution? Have we figured this out? I think we're learning how to figure this out. Since culture change is an ongoing journey where every success, every failure, helps us discern the best of who we are. It's our personal and corporate commitment to people of all genders, all abilities, and all ethnicities, in all geographies. It's our personal and corporate belief in what human ingenuity can build and accomplish. This, this is our quest. What's going on everybody, it's T Reaper and I'm back with another video. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, and happy weekend, it's Friday everybody, what's going on? First and foremost, I just wanna say hallelujah, 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 I wanna, Congratulate Phil on that speech he gave at DICE uh, yesterday. He did an awesome job. It was about 45 to 50 minutes long. Boy, that man can talk. Um, uh, and I, uh, in the beginning of this video, I give you the key points of what I took away from that speech. Um, and, uh, you know, I, uh, I hate to say that I told you so, um, but I kind of told you so. And I told you, like, last week. Last August, when I did that view, you know, right after, right after Gamescom, and you know, I was, you know, saying Phil had a dream. He's preaching that dream, that dream for equality, that dream for a safe space, that dream for people forever. And if anybody's seen that Black Panther, he'd be like that. He'd be that that white. He'd be that that white dude that says White Conda forever. No. Nah. No, in reality, I enjoyed the speech. Uh, I, I, I really did. Uh, there's some key points that I want to point out to Phil um, because I, I, you know, I see what Phil's doing. I'm not an idiot. I, I can, I can legitimately read in between what he's saying, and I can honestly understand what he's talking about. But in, in all reality, you, this is, you know, this is not, you know, this is this, this world. It doesn't work that easily. I wish it did, but it just doesn't work that easily. Um, you can try, you can, you can preach equality and you can preach, you know, you know, equal standards for all. You can, you know, stand on stage for 10 minutes talking about, you know, incidents on Xbox Live where, you know, someone plays COD or someone plays, you know, a, you know, a PvP mode and as soon as they find out the person is a, you know, diff different gender, they automatically shoot that person, you know. Un unfairness online and, you know, toxicity online is never good. Uh, and, you know... It's you know his his speech was his speech was decent, um, but the problem is is I think he still doesn't understand. You can't you can't be the white Jesus. You can't be Xbox's you know Moses. You know you, you you can't you can't really do that. And it's just like the fact that you're still preaching to this day that that's what you believe. You know I respect you for what you believe. You know, but in reality the world the world isn't filled with you know you know you know nice you know nice women and roses it's just you know that just doesn't work that way um but i enjoyed it um i feel that you know anybody who watches this speech i have a, i have a i have a decent feeling i've already watched a couple of videos um on uh what people thought and you know people have a right to be mad people have a right to be you know ticked off that you know phil spencer is you know trying to take the you know trying to take the left field on this side and he's trying to you know he's trying to take the high road and you know try to do it a different way and i respect that of phil but the comp you know the concept is is phil you're not you're not going to win customers by doing it the you know doing it a different way that everybody's used to and uh it you know even points in your speech i can tell that you know you know i i, be I believe microsoft needed a reboot i believe it the concept is is that uh, you haven't really given anything to be actually even remotely honestly proud of um, in the last two years since Halo 5. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, you can actually honestly count Quantum Break, but, you know, I'm, you know, Phil, Phil's trying to do the best he can, and I respect him for it. Um, and last but not least, I did catch the DICE Awards. That, 
that um that dice awards legitly was like an hour and 20 minutes long that shit was nothing more than a nintendo fuck fest um congratulations to nintendo for like over 11 awards in zelda the high rule of freaking gaming the grandfather of gaming even you know the grandfather of nintendo stood on stage and he legitly you know he accepted his you know 40 years of work and you know you know congratulations to nintendo even though you know i don't like them but you know they they dominated and it was you know it was you know it was impressive so for all those nintendo weirdos be happy that you're you know the, the company that you may love them but they don't love you you know you know took home the gold and that's you know pretty much the uh the concept of what it is um in closing i just want to say thank you for everybody who's watched my channel in the last month thank you for all the um wonderful you know wonderful hunger games on twitter so to speak um and uh i am working actually on a machinima uh with my buddy loaded you've seen some of our videos uh the machinima is not started yet it is you know in production and we're trying to figure out decent ways to actually get a nice series going but um in the end i'll continue being me um and again shout out to everybody who won it the dice awards i'll you know most of all those games deserved their awards nonetheless even if you don't like them gotta respect that they actually won an achievement gotta respect nintendo for taking the bounds of everybody including sony and microsoft and last but not least you gotta you gotta give it to phil he knows how to draw people's attention and he knows how to give a good speech but in reality you know, people not may may not I believe you know agree with his message. Some might, some might not. But I think it's you know, I think it was a good speech, and I think you know it was better than last year's at least. You know, and he that message of you know equality and you know unity, it's it's growing. It's gonna be here sooner sooner than you think. This is T Reaper. I'll catch you guys next week with another video. Have a nice day.